The 4-H set video challenge is brought to you by National 4-H Council, National 4-H Headquarters, and University of Arizona 4-H Youth Development through the generous support of 3M. Everyone knows that the wind can be powerful, but how can we use that power in a beneficial way? The 4-H curriculum, The Power of the Wind, offers today's youth the opportunity to deepen their learning of science, engineering, and technology as they learn about the wind and how its energy is used to do work and produce electricity. Students will become excited as they experiment and develop problem-solving skills with the projects in this curriculum. What kind of things would you see that would be powerful in the wind? What would you see? Tornadoes. Tornado. Tornadoes are very powerful. The wind can do a lot of damage to things, right? But the wind can also do some good things, right? What are some things that you, that wind can be used for that would be good? What do you think? Michael, Sailing. 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 Yay, Michael. Sailing. Jerry, what else? Power. Power. Wind can produce power, can it? Have, how does it produce power? What does it use, Jake? It can be hooked up, a wash can be hooked up to a windmill, and when the wind blows, it generates electricity. Right, to windmills. That's right. We're going to talk some about that today. Now, some of the things we're going to talk about is uh, what Michael brought up first is the power of the wind used in sailboats, and how wind blows on the sailboat, and it pushes the thing along. And what we're going to do is build a sailboat today, and we're going to use wind that I brought with me, fake wind, and you're going to build a sailboat, and we're going to blow it down here, and we're going to try different things to see what might work to make a better sailboat. And we're going to, we have different things like tissue paper, foam, there's tool fabric like netting, there's other fabrics, you can use plastic like off from a milk jug, a paper plate, cardboard or lighter weight cardboard, I have straws, all sorts of supplies and I want you to be creative and think about how you could make a boat and what would make it use the wind the best that it could. Okay, so that's what we're going to do, and we're going to try out some of our boats. made a bigger sale. What do you predict? Is that Josh is going I think Josh is going to go further or will Josh just tip over? Josh will go further. Let's see. Tip over. <laughs> <laughs> if it'll stay, it's a lot lighter. I've got to remove some of this excess. So it's a lot lighter and it has a bunch of surface so it ought to look a little better. What changes did you make to your boat? I put a bigger sail on it. You made a bigger sail. Why did you make a bigger sail? Because it catched the wind more like my whole source. Right, it would catch the wind more. So now you have the wide part of the sails and a bigger sail to really catch the wind. Most of us have probably seen or at least seen pictures of windmills. Have you seen different kinds? The blades of windmills have varied over time and changed according to their function. Engineers continuously investigate and adjust the shape and pitch of the blades to improve their performance. Encourage your students to start simply with the pinwheel patterns provided, and as their curiosity grows, they will soon be experimenting with new ideas of their own. Wind turbine for the science fair. So this is a vertical axis wind turbine. Um, they aren't as efficient as the horizontal axis, so I couldn't produce as much electricity as if it was, but I couldn't build that because you have to have better technology than I had. And so I'll just demonstrate it. This is
is only a small sample of the possibilities offered in the Power of the Wind curriculum. As you progress through it, students will learn geography, history, how electricity is made, how motors work, how wind power is used, and more. All the while, encourage your students to use their own skills and knowledge to experiment with the power of the wind. The 4-H Set Video Challenge is brought to you by National 4-H Council, National 4-H Headquarters, and University of Arizona 4-H Youth Development through the generous support of 3M.